More than 42,000 people are diagnosed with cancer in Kenya every year, and more than 27,000 of them die from the harsh effects of cancer. The systems at KNH do require some sort of audit. In the 2022-2023 budget read this year, Kenyatta National Hospital received an allocation of 18.1 billion shillings. Nearly two months later, a report of theft of cancer drugs amounting to 9.3 million shillings has shocked many considering the high cost of cancer treatment that afflicts patients. It is seriously affecting our patients. Our patients have actually been talking about sometimes um, the wrong uh, drug being used or drug stockouts. Health Committee Chairperson in the Council of Governors, Professor Anyang Nyongo, has tasked the Ministry of Health to devise ways to monitor the use of not only cancer drugs, but also other drugs across health facilities. There is really no reason why you can continue to have a cobalt radiotherapy machine at Kenyatta, which is more than 20 years old. The minute a patient, a cancer patient, misses their chemotherapy or radiotherapy session, then it becomes that much harder to treat. The suspects, Emily Nyambura, Philip Owino, Mary Mumo, Yvonne Modoni, Rose Jepkosge, and Maureen Adongo, who are currently out on a 500,000 shilling bill, are due to return to court on the 6th of June this year. Ben Kerera K24, Nairobi.